What is up, everyone? What is good? It is me, the Mad King Power Access, bringing you guys and gals Pokemon Sun and Moon, episode 51, live reaction. Now, as per usual, I will not be using sound because I do not think I can get away with it. So if you want to, follow along on another browser as I hear as you hear me give my two cents in the background, go right ahead. So anyway, we'll be beginning the episode in three, two, one, go. Oh, hi, Hall. Uh, let me full screen it real quick. Well, something tells me it might be a call island. Oh, hi, uh... I still cannot pronounce that thing's name. UBO1. Nahilago, I think it's pronounced. I'm not entirely certain. There's corrupt Lusamine being dragged into a wormhole. Bye, mummy! We just watched someone... And Fob is just like, I think I messed up. Lily, you're just full of trauma, aren't you? My mommy might be dead! Baba, you cannot blame someone else for that. That was all you. And the fact that they're not beating you right now is because this is an E-rated show. Although we did just watch a woman get kidnapped by a tentacle monster. Yes, it is a family matter from here on out. Although the family wasn't able to do jack all during the entire event, and really we could use all the help we can get. <laughs> I get why they're talking about all of this. There's another way to get into Ultra Space. What is it? We don't know. Then how do you know? Now we get to Cosme Cosmium, I think it's called. Wow, it shrinks down a lot more than I thought it would. Again, I'm going by the in-game model, not the... that kind. It's pretty much a chrysalis right now. At least you don't have to worry about it teleporting away anymore. Oh, did I find a version where it has the full opening scene? Because normally whenever I find one of these English subbed ones, it, all, it usually cuts out the opening song credits. It's actually been so long since I've seen this. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just watching this for the first time in months. Oh, that's right. Lily should be getting her new look soon. Bye, Tapu Coco. Hi, Lunala. Now, back to the part I'm used to seeing at. Hey, Slowbro, I'm using you in my playthrough of Ultra Moon. Don't know why, just cuz. Wow, 
Well, judging by Burnett, I think her name was, the professor woman who's supposed to be married to Kukui, the way she was talking, she knows what happened. I mean, they all know. They're just not telling you. Primarily because you're too dense to figure it out yourself. I wonder what happened, even though it had a glow like it was evolving. Ash, you can't do what, do that thing where you can pretend everything will be normal. The girl just lost her mother for crying out loud. <laughs> the new look! Wait a minute! I forgot it had a Pokeball! Uh, no you're not. You were about to jump out the window. Lily, you gotta remember, Gladian's a lot more experienced in this than you are. Lily, I get why you want to go, but you are literally the most useless character in Alola. You have way too much luggage. Bring only what you can fit in that tiny bag. And the first thing you grab is a Cleffa plushie. That looks like it will take up the entirety of the bag. No, that's not Nebby, it's just a random trinket I bought from a vendor on the side of the road. Sophocles, you're supposed to be the smart one, don't be stupid. Alright, so now the other kids are filled in. But, oh, ads! Go away. Oh, there's another one! So they cut up the video into three hat, three quarters. Quarters? That's four. Three parts, I should say. Hi, James. The butler one. Um, so one of the students goes missing, so they... Are they going to cancel class and go look for her? I mean, yeah, it's a bit more important than reading a, from a book, but... Island King. Why don't you just say the Kahuna? Or is that a translation thing? Hi, Hollow. We haven't seen you in forever.
Pikachu, please don't try and bite Co Cosmium. Yeah. The Legend of Sogaleo. That would be the altar. I love how it's supposed to be Sogaleo and Lunala, but it's called the Altar of the Sun, and the main Ultra Beast, uh, well, technically Ultra Beast, but the main Pokemon of the legend is Sogaleo instead of Lunala, who is just as important. Oh, so they're skipping... Akala Island, I think it was, and going straight to Pony Island. Is Akala the third island, or is that the second island? I don't remember. I should know. I'm at that point in the game. But yeah, that brings in the question, how did uh, Gladian and Lily get the Pony Island with just Sil Valley? Did they ride on its back while it dog paddled, or did they take a boat? I know it's a minor thing, but I want clarification on that. Yes, yeah, the three starters. They have statues of them. Um, Lily. Yeah, I just love that me and Gladian had the similar idea of, um, Lily, did you try just opening the door? So if Lily would have moved that statue into place, she would have been skewered by spikes? What? Okay, I understand her thinking there. But again, wrong. Yeah, you have a Sil Valley that can leap that distance easily. See? It's probably been there before. Oh, the Foundation's documents. Okay. But yeah, Gladian did make sense. It, look, it did look like there was a path there at one point, but it was no longer there. Yes, you are no help, and yet you are still here. I don't have a problem with you, but you have to admit, you're useless in this situation. Even if you come across an Ultra Beast and you fight it with Vol uh, Vulpix... 
still wouldn't make a bit of difference. It's just a Vulpix going up against an Ultra Beast. Good luck with that. Lily, don't run into the middle of the room, you idiot. Oh, no. Jangmao and Koma. Is it Koma? -O? I don't think so. I think Koma is the final evolution. Jangmao. -O. I can't remember what the second evolution's name is. But I remember the third one is Koma. -O. Now you see in this situation, Lily, you are useful. You have a ice and fairy type with you. That is strong against dragon. Okay! Sure! Just blow her back, why don't you? Oh, and it's a totem coma. Oh, this is a trial. It's a totem, Lily. Pay attention. So, Silva is going to take on the totem while Lily takes on the scrubs, pretty much. What move was that? Gladian, how do you not know how do you not remember Silvalli's ability? Oh Jangmo, oh, you prick! Well I mean you could also make it a dragon type until you get that memory back. You have that option. Yes, because you can just easily skate on the floor like that. That I'm certain is completely smooth and not full of, you know, jagged terrain. And it ended up making it. Yep. Oh, well, bye, Koma O. Oh, the. Oh, I thought that was the Z crystal. It was just a pebble. All right. Oh, hi, Pikachu. I recognize that Electro Ball anywhere. So let me guess. That means Ash doesn't get coma O or any of its evolutionary stages either. What is your last Pokemon going to be? You're running out of options. Also, we're kind of stuck here because the path behind us is caved in. So, we just have to move along with you. Otherwise, we're stuck here. How is that not the logical conclusion? 
You have more people, thus more options. And that is the most broken stairwell I had seen. I would not trust it. Oh, hi, Tapu Coco! And Tapu Lele! Oh, all the Guardians are there! And you're just gonna end it on that? Okay! Well... Oh wait, there should be a... I've never actually seen any of these post-credit things. Um, Sogaleo Descends. Alright. So, that is it for this episode. Now let me see if the next episode is available. I highly doubt it. In English subs, anyway. Preview, preview... Preview, 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 preview. I do not think it is. All right, so that just means that I'm done with this review uh, episode. Pretty much just time with Le uh, Lily and Gladian. They did beat the Dragon Trial, which should mean that he got the Z-Crystal, but I don't think he did. But I also saw that in the preview that Kukui takes them on. So does he get it? I don't know. But we're going to get Sogaleo next episode. We got all the... Guardian deities here. So, I think we're about to get to the climax of the altar within the next two episodes. And then moving on to Ultra Space, I think. So, anyway, that is it for this episode. This has been the Mad King Paradox S signing off. And I will see you all next time.